We've been working on the fuel gauge to this old 72 Ford van. And uh, what I had to do, and I followed the wiring and made sure the wiring is all working. It's this orange wire here. Got that all going. And I found out by pulling the gauge out that out of the gas tank, this is the gas tank on this old, it's not a van, it's a truck, sorry, F-350. Uh, that the, the float had a big hole in it, and I'll show you that in a minute, but I'm going to show you that the gauge is actually working. And it's showing about a half a tank, which could be about right because I did fill it in Horseshoe Bend and then drove it to Cascade. That may be a little low. <clears throat> the fact is that when I soldered this thing, I got a big old ball of solder inside it so it may not be floating as high as I'd like it to so I might get a kind of a low gauge result. I'm gonna pull it out and show, it to, show you to you. okay so it's just kind of a little tricky thing here you can kind of turn it and get it out uh, this phone had a piece of rubber on it I have no idea why I'm thinking it was only it was only all part there. So anyway, so yeah, this um, this float had a big old hole right here, and I had to cave it in some to get it to be close enough so I could solder it. And then soldering, what I had to do is just give it a touch with this torch, like that, because it's so thin a material that float is just paper thin you touch it like that it would get hot instantly and then it would melt the solder so you melt the solder and that because it's that paper thin and I was getting solder inside it that's why you that's why you can hear that solder in there but if you take it to the to the sink and uh, of course, the resistance on the meter reads all the way from 0 to 75 ohms like it's supposed to. Take and put it in the sink. You want to make sure, okay, you hear that noise. Is it really, you know, watertight? And then if you look closely, I got it down at the bottom of the sink with water in it. and There's no bubbles coming up. And it does float. If you look at it, it's, it floats. It's on the top, basically. It's on the top of the water there, so in theory, it should be giving me good, accurate. Now, if it's uh, indicating off, what I can do is I can bend this rod a little bit. I don't want to give it too much because I don't want people to think, oh, you know, you've got half a tank when, oops, you have no. That's the that's the worst thing. You'd rather have it indicating lower than it actually is. Okay, so we'll put it back in there. And uh, I think what we'll do is, since this is so easy to get to, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll fill it. If it doesn't indicate full, next time we fill the tank up, we'll uh, we'll bend that. We'll bend it down just a little bit so it'll raise it higher when the tank is full. Give us a full gauge indication. Okay, that's it. I'm going to screw it back together and be done.